Welcome back to Cooking with Love. As I said before, we're gonna do candied yams. And first, we're gonna skin the potatoes. Now, a lot of folks like to use regular knives, but I like to expedite it a little bit by using a potato peeler. And it's so efficient, especially if you don't have a lot of time. So, these potatoes, I'm pretty sure a farmer uh, farm these with love because they're nice and healthy and they're pretty fat. But these potatoes, I have like one, two, three, four, five. I'm probably gonna just do four. And we're gonna go ahead and get it, start peeling it. So, something about sweet potatoes. Um, I grew up eating sweet potatoes from my grandmother. And I know a lot of folks, you know, they like to find a quick way of doing things. And sometimes you may get the candy yams in a can. However, there's definitely a different taste. Uh, you know, me coming from a family of cooks and being a cook myself, I go for taste and quality. It doesn't take long to cook these sweet potatoes. I'm gonna give you about 30 minutes if you do it right. And you have very, very less ingredients. Um, we're gonna show you what you're gonna put in these candy yams. See how quick that is? It's not taking me any time to do that. So people just have to make sure that when you're serving meals for others, that is definitely quality. And one of my models is cooking with love and make sure it's with quality. So that this, I got one potato down. That didn't take, how long do you think that took? That didn't take up long at all. Potato peel is the best thing you can get. So I got another one here, peeling that down here. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna wash these potatoes after we peel them. I've washed them before. My grandmother would take her time. Um, she, you know, I visualize her um, sitting down uh, cooking and peeling potatoes. She likes to sit down and she gets it done. For some reason, I'm the opposite. I like to stand up and cook. My husband loves to sit down. Uh, a lot of chefs, you know, they sit down and cook and they sit down, they sit down and get, you know, whatever fits your boat or rock your boat. I like to stand up and get it done. I just feel it like you're being lazy when you're not, <laughs> when you're not uh, standing up, but it's okay. So I got this other potato down. Look how fast I'm going with this potato peel. Not much, not much at all. All right, so we got that one done. That's potato number two. Now, let me see, I think I wanna try this one. This is a nice, big, healthy one. Like I said, I'm not gonna use all of these, so. This can be used with any side dish. You can use candy yams. Why we call it candy yams? I'm not sure, I, I guess because um, when you're cooking it, it's almost like a candy tasting uh, uh, ingredient. But you can call it sweet potatoes, candy yams, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same. I love color. Having sweet potatoes with any meal, it just brightens the colors up. You know, like you got big macaroni, or anything like that. But we're gonna be right back, guys, and we're gonna have all these potatoes peeled. We are back, we are back. So we have all the sweet potatoes all peeled, it didn't take long at all. Now, the fun part is cutting them up. You can cut them up however you want. I cut them up as is, as it goes. I don't have a particular shape or size that I want them cut. Some people like them in circles, some people like them in squares, whatever fits your taste. So let's get it started. All right, so I'm cutting up my sweet potatoes. Now look, these look like round potato chips, right? Some people actually cook, I think my mother cooks them like this, she does. But I like to cut them Actually, I finished cutting them in service. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do after I cut them in service. All right, make sure you get you a good knife that can really cut through sweet potatoes because it's pretty tough to cut through. It's not tender, it's, um, you know, once you put them in the pot to cook them down, they're gonna get really soft. But make sure the knife can cut right through and you don't cut yourself. All right, all right. I can smell these sweet potatoes already, guys. So now that I have them in circles, this first potato, this is what I normally do. I cut the circles in half. And then I cut them again. And then I cut them again. Isn't that fun? However size you want to have your sweet potatoes is up to you. 
So I'm gonna cut it down that way, cut it a little bit more. And we have these. These are some nice, really healthy potatoes. Um, the color, there's no discoloration with them. So the farmer did a great job, right? That over there. So let me just push this right over and get some more. Oh, yeah. This guy. You can have all different shapes, shapes and sizes, whatever you want. Now, the, the little parts, the end parts, you don't have to cook that. You can just put that to the side and discard that. If you don't like the ends of the potatoes, just kind of cut them off and throw it to the side. There. So let's start from the end part this time. All right, here we go. And guess what, guys? The cook time is actually quicker if you cut them up smaller. Right, yeah. So that's why I like them smaller. And then I said earlier that it may take about 30 minutes to cook them down. So if you cook them smaller, they will definitely cook in less time. Now, as you know, a lot of folks use sweet potatoes as whole. It's already sweet. And some people like to eat it whole, but I prefer to cut them up and cook them down. And also you can use sweet potatoes as a sweet potato pie. Now, if I was cooking a sweet potato pie, I actually would boil these potatoes whole. Yeah, and then mash them up. All right guys, we are almost done with cutting up all these beautiful sweet potatoes. I'm so excited about how it's gonna look afterwards. See, I got all different sizes here. Got one more to do. One more to do. Push that on the side. All right, when we come right back, all these sweet potatoes are going to be cut up. The sweet potatoes are peeled and cut, and now we're ready to put it in boiling water. My water is already boiling, so we're gonna drop it. We have four sweet potatoes, all right, and we're gonna drop it right in there. Just make sure you don't let it splash on you. Just kind of gently get it in there. Yeah, there we go. All right. Bye. This is gonna be awesome. I'm trying not to let the water get on me, so that's why I'm moving a little slow. So we won't have that water get on us. All right. I could have just grabbed it with my hand, but I'm going to do it the right way. And just slide it right on in there. All right, sweet potatoes, looking good. Candied yams. Sweet potatoes, AKA sweet potatoes. All right, here we go. Now, we got them all in there. Let's move this to the side. I have one casualty right over here. We'll just put him over there. Okay, now, now we're gonna add the ingredients that need to go with these beautiful candy. So, I have, we're gonna go here and put some butter in here. All right. Like a half a stick of butter. Then I have some ground nutmeg, just a little bit. Now listen, the thing about my sweet potatoes, I like them to stay at its, 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 its original color, um, the orange, bright orange, as much as possible. When you start putting nutmeg and other things in it, it darkens it, but it's up to you how you want it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit just for taste. Just a little bit, still gonna have that beautiful orange color. Then we're gonna put our vanilla extract in it, okay? I'm gonna put about two capfuls in there, okay? All right, got that. Okay, and I'm gonna stir it up. All right, Ooh, looks good. All right. Now, I'm gonna add my raw organic cane sugar. Okay, you can use white sugar, but I prefer to use the, the cane sugar. So we're gonna put that, so I'm gonna use about a cup. It depends on how sweet you want your sweet potatoes. So if you want them really sweet, with the four sweet potatoes that I put in here, you can do about a cup and a half. So I'm just gonna do a cup. Um, they're already kind of sweet, but we're gonna add a cup of sugar to it. Any type of sugar that you wanna add, name brand, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put one cup in there for the amount of sweet potatoes that I have. And there we go. 
I'm just gonna stir it up there. Yep. And guess what, guys? Let this burn off about 30 minutes, and you got you some candy yams. We are back. They are ready. Look how beautiful they look, guys. Look at that. That's beautiful. And what you want to do is you want to get a spoon that drains the juice out of the sweet potatoes. All right, we're gonna put that as a side dish right there. I absolutely love sweet potatoes, guys. I'm so excited about tasting them. I'm gonna move it over here. And we're gonna put some on this plate for our special guests that we're getting ready to talk with and sit down and enjoy a beautiful meal. All right, so we're gonna put that to the side. Then I'm, I'm gonna do the meat last. So we're gonna get our green beans Sauteed down, they're delicious with a little onions. Really simple meal, guys. Really, really, really simple. Healthy. String beans, green beans, whatever you want to call it. Got that. And now, now we're gonna cut the chicken. Look how beautiful this chicken came out. Ooh, nice and warm. So we're gonna cut, cut a little piece of the breast off here. Now this chicken. I'm gonna show you on a later date, an uh, awesome recipe to make a simple, beautiful baked chicken. Uh, so we're having this chicken with the sweet potatoes and green beans today, but I can't wait to show you the recipe. Uh, it's really simple, guys. So let's get on into cutting this chicken, this piece of breast off of here. Ooh. I don't know if my guest is gonna eat this whole piece of chicken, but we're gonna give her the breast part. Oh, that's beautiful, guys, look at that. Oh my God. And guess what? I like dark meat, so I'm gonna take this thigh, and that's gonna be for me. All right, so now, we're gonna go over here and enjoy this meal. All right, guys, when we come right back, we're gonna introduce you to our special guest, Miss Aquaya. We'll be right back. Introduce our audience to Miss Aquaya. Hello. Go ahead and introduce yourself to our audience. Hello, I am Aquaya, singer songwriter, right here from New Orleans, Louisiana, right now. So, this is a blessing that you decided to join us today. So, um, let's dig right on in and have a little conversation. Yes. So, tell us um, about your music career that's taken off by storm. I mean, you're <laughs> really, your name is out there now. So, what? tell us what did it take and how long you've been singing and just whatever you want to, you know, tell us about okay. yourself. And I love that hat you got on. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. One of my stylists from my... Uh, video actually picked out the hats and stuff so I said I was going to keep it. I love the hats. I'm Thank a hat you. girl. I love the hats. Thank you. Um, so right now um, what I got going on I have my new single out. It's called Habit the Bounce Remix. Habit? Yes. A Bounce Remix? Yes. Okay. Because I had originally came out with the song Habit itself mm -hmm. but um, coming out with the song it did pretty well and I wanted I don't. I, I, I guess because I'm from New Orleans, I just wanted something more, like mm -hmm. New Orleans. I mm -hmm. wanted to feel like I did something really good, so I did that. So what do you, what is the song about? <laughs> so the song basically is about you know basically a sex addiction. addiction. Wow. Okay, a sex um, addiction. Okay. To like your significant other is basically like y'all want to be all over each other all the time. Mm. So y'all have a habit for each other. Y'all meeting up in these different places. Oh, okay. Like the song start off with like fly me out to LA, make some arrangements. Mm. So you know, let's go even further. We're gonna move away from New Orleans. Let's go to LA. Let's do some things that we never did before. Um, Sounds exciting. What? Where did where did this idea come from? Well. Um, <laughs> I was looking at um, She's Gotta Have It. Oh, I love that. I just looked at that movie a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Of course, it's over 20 years old. Yeah. But I actually sat down and watched it again. It's a brilliant piece of work. Yeah, it is. I mm -hmm. love Spike Lee. Me too. And so um, I started getting in more into like 
looking at black directors and mm -hmm. black people yes. doing things. Okay. So, um, I started looking at it on Netflix, the mm -hmm. uh, TV series, mm -hmm. and I just fell in love with how like Nola like kind of took control of situations and she was able to be free without yeah. her being judged and she was right. able to express herself. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess that's how it all came along to me. Got you. Yeah. So by you watching a brilliant piece of work by Spike Lee kind of birth your song. Yeah. So would you say a lot of your work um, you're inspired by somebody or does it just come from you because for me as an artist it I, I, I get inspired right by others as well but then it comes you know God put, plants a seed in you right and then it and then it's manifestation after that yeah so basically that's what it is is mm -hmm. it's most likely um every song that I have came out with recently mm -hmm. even the song before this which was rose colored glasses they all was free rose colored glasses mm -hmm. okay they all were freestyles and it was all they, like rose colored glasses was because I was feeling some kind of way about me dating somebody and it's like I was looking at something in a different aspect than what it really was and I had on these rose colored glasses mm. but then with habit it was like I had just got into this relationship with my boyfriend mm -hmm. at the time and so it was like we was doing things and doing stuff that we never did before and so I was like oh like, I feel like I got to have it now. Like, you know what I mean? I had to always be underneath him. I wanted to be around him. Got you. Like, you know, so it was more, um, not so you guys sexual. Were it was more intimacy. Intimacy, um, uh, mental. Yeah. You know, um, because you, you can, you can be attached to someone just by the intellect. Yeah. And they don't even have to touch you. Yeah. So you kind of dug deep and kind of like, I'm going to, I want this song uh, for couples to hear, yeah, and uh, people that are in love, yeah, and people that want to be in love, yeah. So that's so that's kind of what this song is, and you use a, a New Orleans flair yeah. with the bounce music, because because bounce music is you. Where was it born? Here. Okay, in and other people trying to claim it, but it was born in New Orleans. Yes. So so how long you been singing? I have been singing for the last professionally for the last four years. And you knew as a as a child that was your gift because some people find their gifts later on in life. Um, some people know as soon as they out their mother's womb. So mm -hmm. when did you find out that hey, I, I have a gift, and and others were um, maybe motivating you or or telling you 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 know you can sing, girl. Um, so early on, I knew I had the gift to sing, mm -hmm. but I was always afraid because I was a little bully. You were bullied. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I was afraid. It was like, oh, cause you sing like a church lady, and you just you big, you fat, and you sing like this. Mm -hmm. And I was always afraid to like even let people know who I was, because it was like every time I did something, they're like, oh, you're doing it this way. You need to do stuff like this, and I'm mm -hmm. like, okay. Mm -hmm. So I went. So you went through that. You went through that struggle. Yeah, being bullied. Um, messing with your self-esteem yes but you overcame right and here you are now right so I'm glad I made that decision to be like whatever to the whole situation and really focus on what I really wanted to do what God had for me like my purpose well I'm so glad you to join us tell our audience where they can follow you okay. where they can get your music okay so you guys can find me on Instagram and Facebook is Aquaya Music. Mm -hmm. That's A Q U A Y A M U S I C. All of the letters and words are together. You can find me on Spotify, mm -hmm. Tidal, iTunes, everywhere that's streaming. My performance name is Aquaya, which is A Q U A Y A, and you can find me that way. Well, we thank you for joining us, guys. Make sure you follow, click like, and follow us on YouTube with Cooking with Love. And we're going to see you next time. Let's finish up this awesome meal.